since I was a student that Ouse Burns had a real fascination for me. Um, it's, it's lovely cultural heritage, it's fantastic. We, we originally wanted to move to Durham purely because it didn't have many craft breweries, um, but then we realised there was so much more going on in Newcastle and specifically the Usburn. Usburn's got a fantastic craft beer scene as, as well as community feel. So we decided that this was the perfect spot as well as being in Holt's Yard, which is a fantastic site for, for many reasons, but it's so, there's so many different businesses within this, within the Holt's Yard area and, and it just draws more people to us. So we based ourselves in the Usburn because we love it. Um, we have really strong family links with the Cumberland Arms um, and uh, we were based in a shipping container behind the pub when we first started in this tiny little um, nano kit which was kind of like a trial business. Does this work? Does it not work? Turned out it did work uh, and it was ridiculously busy and there was no time. And then when, we, when the chance came up to it was time to move to, to move to a bigger brewery, um, we, were, we looked pretty much exclusively within the Usburn Valley. We have a place in this local community because we don't just work here, we live here. We are as much customers to the Usburn Valley as we are um, people who work in it. I think specifically in this community, um, microbrews are huge, uh, especially in the Usburn area. People can jump between them. I don't see it as competition. I think it's better that we have more breweries in one zone because it allows more people to go away from town where the bigger companies are and they come to the independents. And I think that's super important and I, and I do feel, feel Usburn's, as cliche as it may sound, it's, it's a bit of a family. Um, you, treat, you treat your customers well, they treat you well and they'll always come back, they're very loyal. The pub bar is uh, a community, almost a safe place in the community to come uh, and we have a lot of uh, you know support therein uh, but yeah I think it has a huge um, you know, contribution to make uh, for the well-being of you know people who often just pop in here for a cup of tea or whatever uh, it might be a pint of beer. Microbreweries within the community uh, are a fantastic asset. Um, it's lovely for customers to be able to come and speak directly to the teams that make the beer, make the product, and I think that's really important these days, especially with everything that we've just gone through with the last pandemic. Localism is, is really good. Um, and for us to be able to offer this fantastic space in this lovely Victorian warehouse, um, it's just amazing for our customers to come down and enjoy. When I got into brewing and was working in the industry in the northeast, there wasn't this, uh, it wasn't a great community of people. People were kind of, it was definitely separate businesses. Um, setting up in the Usburn and there being other breweries open, all of a sudden it's like there's a group of, a group of friends around the corner. I think small breweries are, they're about the people that do it really. So the uniqueness is kind of the fact I've been a, a beer enthusiast for over, over 30 years and 20 years ago we set up a bar and we were the first people to explicitly use the term craft so the history of the brewery is me that's the uniqueness we, we did craft when it was BC before craft you know you know it's a, it was a tough, it's a tough industry. I mean, the microbrewery industry is very well populated. I would argue in Newcastle, we've probably got, you know, one of the highest levels of beer making because of the number of breweries we have and the number of good breweries we have. So I think it's a good place to be. You've got to be um, on your game to be, you know, it's a reason to be, you know, successful. In why do breweries need to be unique is an interesting question, but yes, I think every brewery has uh, uh, uniqueness in its nature. Um, ours is probably to do with our flavour combinations. From the get-go, it, was, it wasn't just about making beer, it was about combining beer with different food groups, uh, using fruits, using herbs, using spices, trying to create juxtapositions in flavour. Um, for instance, making a dark beer that tasted completely like a light beer, making a light beer and it visually looks like this, but in actual fact, uh, it tasted like coffee and roasted chocolate, and it was just a, so the idea of messing with people's minds, and uh, that has always been something that I've loved to do, that we've loved to do. 
Our brewery's uniqueness probably comes from, um, you know, our sort of historical cultural references within our beers and uh, looking to combine more traditional beers with more modern ones. So, you know, we, 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 we like the fact that we can celebrate the traditional beers with traditional reference things such as Geordie Pagoda, we have a beer reference in the Usburn School. We're trying to do our bit for the environment um, and we search wherever we can to make things environmentally friendly. We're trying to eliminate plastic from our packaging and one of the things that we're really proud to stock is the uh, six can pack holders which are made from 100% um, recycled cardboard and are environmentally friendly and 100% biodegradable. Breweries are very um, energy and water reliant. Um, on top of that, we've got things like the products that we use, the ingredients that we use, so grain grown in huge fields of only grain obviously has environmental impacts. Um, and the hops that we use that come from all around the world, many New World hops from the United States um, and places like New Zealand and others, um, those have quite a few uh, diesel miles or flight miles or ship miles um, behind them when we buy them. Um, so we do try and offset that. Part of the name of Full Circle is we kind of wanted to go, it's, it's partly family related, but the other side is that we want to become a sustainable business and we want to have a site somewhere after this that will allow us to, to, to really hit that sustainability offering because there's not many breweries out there who, who, who do and it would be a great thing to pioneer in the northeast and especially in the Usburn area. As with many breweries in the region and in the area, um, our waste grain, so the spent grain when we finished with it in the brewing process, that goes to a local farmer called Billy. One of the things that we've done here at the Old Coal Yard is um, turn some of our waste products um, into furniture. So these are gas pressurised key kegs. Uh, they've been used, they've had beer in them, they've been emptied, they've been used for their primary purpose. And rather than sending them directly for recycling, which we can do and we do do, um, we kept dozens and dozens and dozens of them uh, and collected them from places and turned them into these benches. I got into brewing um, because uh, for a love of beer. Um, even when I was little, I grew up uh, in Wolverhampton. Um, Banks's brewery was, they're always there, the smells were fantastic. Um, I ended up becoming a chemical engineer, uh, loved processing, always have done, and it was just great uh, to, to actually manufacture something that I love. Carl and I used to work at the Cumberland together. Carl was a uh, cellar manager, I was his cellar monkey. We were sat one evening um, over a pint going, any beer mint? Isn't it great? I wonder how you make it. So it went from an idea, a line in the conversation to a... This! Just <laughs> mint! Years ago, when we had our bar, we had the idea that we were going to contract, get a beer contract brewed, because back then, beer was all ye olde and blokey and had pictures of Shire horses on. And there really wasn't a beer that was modern and nice looking and gender neutral, which has always been important to us. We'd realized we can do it ourselves. We don't, we don't need to piss someone out. It's that simple to set up a brewery. 